Hi everyone, it's Ellie, Taylor, and Cole behind the camera, and we are here at the corner of you and you to raise awareness about fake news. We believe that our generation is uh, consuming the media much too passively and not questioning anything that they see online or anything in the news. We are here um, to interview some students on their way to class to test our hypothesis. So we're actually from the student union. How's it going? We're from the student union. Oh, we are from the student union. And um, we're just going to ask you a couple questions. And we're actually conducting a survey on a few questions regarding changes for next year. So what do you think of Queen's decision to bring back the live bear mascot for our homecoming next year? Is it a brown bear? A little risky. I feel like a bear might be a lot. Wait, a real live bear? A real live bear. That sounds really dangerous. Dangerous. But do you think it's cool? Like, think would that be a good idea? Very cool, yeah. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it sounds really cool. I think black bears are safer than like grizzly bears and polar bears, so... That's true. That's a fact. It. But um, I will keep it in my house if necessary. Where'd the baby come from? Where's his mom? A live what mascot? <laughs> Boohoo the bear. I'll be honest, I've never heard of Boohoo, but that sounds amazing. That's way cooler, because Boohoo the bear sounds pretty brutal. Everyone has to make sure not to scare him. That's the thing. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Because like, if you see a baby bear cub, won't the mom be there nearby? These are good questions. I'll be sure to follow up. <laughs> what do you think of the change from Kogro to a Starbucks? Really? <laughs> I'm an avid Tim Hortons fan. Uh, I think Kogro should stay. We already have two Starbucks, so, you know, Kogro's kind of unique. But I, I kind of like the more um, kind of non-traditional style of it. It seems kind of like yeah. a, more like a Queen's kind of sta staple. So. Not a fan. I like the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Do you support this decision or no? Really? <laughs> should I ask him a question? Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think about Queen's Queen's ban on the the uh, leather jacket due to animal cruelty reasons. I'm in engineering, so oh, I don't know. I um, I feel like they're like such a big tradition at Queen's. I don't have a leather jacket, so I'm okay with that. Huge fan. I don't like Eng. I don't want to see it. As a vegan yourself, what do you think? Interesting. Hmm. Well, I think maybe not the ban, but the choice and the option to have a more sustainable and long-lasting vegan jacket. Maybe like a pleather jacket. I don't wear my GPA that much anymore, but I don't know. Let people do what they want. Introduce fake leather jackets. That could work too. Pleather. Uh, I feel kind of guilty now. No, oh! <laughs> She's holding one! Okay, so we're actually just film students and we're here um, talking about fake news. So obviously both of those news stories are fake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're just messing with you. So those two questions were actually uh, kind of fake. Yeah, they were kind of dumb now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're just going to ask you a couple more questions about like your media consumption habits. Okay, the questions that I just asked you were actually not true. So all of those are fake. Okay, so <laughs> you caught on. Why, why did you think that they were fake? They got rid of the live bear for a reason, right? Yes, they're not bringing the live bear back. Hey, can we ask you a question about fake news? Fake news? Yeah. What about it? What do you know about fake news? <sighs> <laughs> Where do you get most of your media from? Your, your uh, news? Call it Steer's email. Do you guys know Call it Steer? What is it? Do you usually get all of your news from Snapchat? 100%. I get all my news from Facebook. And what do you consider a reliable source for your news? CVC. Any news source that's actually like source verified and nothing that can be proved on more than just social media. Uh, like articles are really well known. Well you kind of go off the person who's telling you. You seem very trustworthy at first so uh, there's that and then I don't know you can kind of look it up in the news and things. Well because I check the, the URL and so forth. If it's a .org then I know it's an organization. Whereas if it's a .com then it's iffy so you don't mess around what you're trying to say if it says it's true then you know 21st century you just got to go for it you can always kind of look further into the actual statistical um like analyses they use in their news to see if it's you know valid how frequently do you think people actually do that though very infrequently yeah. it's like it's one google search people it's not that hard <laughs> what fake news stories have you heard recently in the media uh, that Queen's is getting a real life bear from a mascot. <laughs> um, well, of course, I'm sure everybody has mentioned Trump. Yeah, he is fake news, Donald he Trump. Is, I... I've been following kind of like what's going on with the states and Donald Trump, obviously. 
uh, he had an affair or something. I think I saw that on Snapchat today. The other day I read uh, a fantastic article that I'm hoping is fake news, but is the funniest thing I've ever read in that Joe Biden said that he personally wanted to fight Donald Trump, like fist fight him. And uh, Trump said uh, he, he could take Joe Biden. But it's 100% like in society right now, it's prevalent. I mean, I'm in, I'm in computer engineering. I do a lot of like data analytics, so I've actually studied it. Like I've done text analytics on it before and it's detectable, which is interesting, but it's very easy to be fooled by it. Do you believe that fake news is a problem within our society today? Mm, I guess if like if people believe in it, then it's a problem or they don't check the facts, then it's a problem. But I mean, if it's just for a joke and if it's just for fun, then sure. It's, it's a joke, right? What about when it has real world consequences? Well, uh, example? For example, um, there was a conspiracy theory related to Hillary Clinton uh, running a sex trafficking uh, in the bottom of a pizzeria and then someone actually entered the pizzeria with a gun oh. in the States. Wait, actually? Yes, this happened in real life. Oh dear. Um, if people like don't do their research and take something that is fiction as fact, then it can then then it can be a problem. Okay, and do you think that there's there can be any like real life repercussions in society if fake news is spread so rampantly? Definitely, especially with the internet, people just believe kind of everything they see. We're in a time where you've never been able to access so many people at once, and so fake news is very easily spread biased information in every sense. I think it I think it creates a lot of false expectations. It's kind of creating this uh, false cloud of news amongst millennials because our only new source is Facebook. And well, for some people, I'm not gonna label all millennials out there, sure. but um, I mean, speaking from my point of view, I have to say like a good chunk of the news I get is from social media. And a lot of that news is definitely fake. It's been proven to be fake. Even, I don't even really trust lots of the things I see anymore. I'm like, oh, this is probably fake. Or like this writer has some bias, I don't know. So it's just, oh yeah, it's causing us to lose yeah. a bit of trust in like the whole media. They're gonna think we planted you because your answers are so good, but we did not plant him. <laughs> he was a stranger. <laughs>